My day job is a teacher. My part-time job, because I'm a teacher, is hockey. And then the rest of my life is Bikers Against Child Abuse, or BACA. We got started in 1995 by a child play therapist. He was working with abused kids. Realized that, you know, they were great when he was there, but then they'd go back into their homes and neighborhoods or whatever, and that fear would still be there. He grew up with bikers. He knew what it was like to be with bikers, so he got a bunch of his friends to go visit the kid, and uh, it worked. Kids are so innocent and it's, it's a shame that people take that away from them. Our goal is to bring that child to not be afraid in the world in which they live. We actually give the kid their own little cut with their road name like we have and on the back is a patch. Inside we all sign it so that they know that we have their back at all times. The biker community brings its own persona, you know, and seeing 40 motorcycle pull up and a bunch of men and women in leather vests and stuff get off their bike. I think when, they, when the kids see us, it gives them that sense that my family's a lot bigger, a lot scarier than what happened to them. After the second, third, fourth, fifth visit, these kids come completely out of their shell and, and you can just see, see the fear go away. They can call us whenever they need us and we'll pick up the phone. It could be at 1.30 in the morning because they woke up from a nightmare or uh, they heard something outside their window. Sometimes it's just a conversation, but every once in a while they need us to come on out and we'll get on the bike and we'll go out. I've left my house at all hours of the night, stood out in the cold, snow, you name it, it doesn't matter. We're, we're there and we're always on our bike. The most terrifying things, I think, for the kid to have to get up on a stand and talk about what happened to them. We'll usually escort the child and the family to the courthouse. Once we get there, we surround the kid. We'll walk them into the courthouse, and if they get up on the stand and they say what they need to say, then that's a win in our book. Anyone else would say that the best part was when they put the guy in handcuffs and walked him out the door. But we don't care about the perpetrator. We care about the kid. It's a great feeling. I mean, knowing that I've helped a lot of these kids get through what they've gone through. And I mean, our, our goal is to empower them so they don't need us, so they can move on and live their life like they're to the full potential. Kids get a raw deal sometimes, you know, and I see it where I teach. I can't help the kids in this way. But as Baca, I definitely can. I, I think I'm gonna keep going until I can't ride no more. My goal is to help every kid that we can possibly help.